the Germans did, they got a thumping big MTU diesel engine, you can hear it there rumbling away, very, very powerful and very reliable as well. Relatively thin armour protection, um, this armour plate will stop a bullet, a small cannon shell, but not a big artillery round or certainly not a round from another tank. They got a really good gun, this is a British gun, it was a gun we had on our Centurion tanks, we sold it to the Germans, we sold it to the Americans as well. This is a 105mm gun and they put it all together and made a very, very successful, fast and mobile tank. Okay, let's just keep you awake because you're getting a bit cold and bored out there. Now the Leopard not only went into service with the German army, uh, but it was again, it was sold all around the world. Lots of countries uh, bought the Leopard. Inside that vehicle, there's a crew there of four, three guys in the turret. You've got the commander obviously in charge of everything. He's looking out where the enemy are. He's telling the driver who's on his own down the front of the vehicle where to go because he's got a bit more height and therefore a bit more visibility and he's looking out for targets for the gunner who sits in front of him. The gunner's the person who does the fine aiming of that gun. On the other side of the turret, the third crew member in the turret is a loader. And if you ever have to pick a tank crew, pick your loader, someone who's short, stocky, built like a Russian shot putter, because the rate of fire of this tank will go down as a loader gets worn out picking up the big rounds, 105 millimeter rounds, whacking them in the breach of the gun, ready for the gunner to fire them off. Very cramped space inside there, as you can imagine. You can see some of the vehicles in the museum and um, see how cramped that is. But as a tank, it was very successful in the German army, very reliable, and reliability, like I said earlier, very important for the military. And uh, this particular Leopard tank was actually sold to the Canadian army. And in the year 2000, the Canadians said, we don't think we're gonna need tanks anymore. We don't think tanks are going to be used in battle in the future. So we put our hand up here at the Tank Museum and said, well, would you mind giving us a couple of your Leopard tanks? And the Canadian government very kindly donated us two Leopard tanks, uh, which we've got here and are still running. Um, what then happened, of course, is the Canadian Army went out to fight in Afghanistan and they really realised very quickly they dropped a big one to go back to the German army and say, excuse me, can we buy some more Leopard tanks off you? Luckily they didn't ask for these ones back. Um, but for us, it's part of that story. Lots of people say to us, is the age of the tank over? Uh, will it carry on? Will things like attack helicopters do the same job? Actually, every time we seem to think we're not gonna need tanks anymore, there seems to be a reason that we can still use a big heavy tank. Um, our analogy is, think of it like a Swiss army knife. It's very adaptable. This was designed to meet Russian tanks if the Cold War had become a hot war. Lots of countries around the world have used it in lots of other different circumstances. One of which you can probably see today. Tanks are big and impressive. If you turn up in a Land Rover, people tend to throw stones at you. If you turn up in a tank, quite often people will go, well, maybe not today then and back off. So they have a presence about them, tanks, which probably means even if they don't fire their guns in anger, will still have a, a use for them well into the future, um, just showing the flag or just showing a bit of muscle. Um, so there'll be reasons for that, uh, for them to continue. So the Leopard's gonna do a couple more laps for you before it departs off. And uh, thank you very much for standing out there, getting cold and wet in the rain. And I'll just say before you head back in the museum, don't forget your ticket today is not just to let you go in and out today, it's a whole year's membership of this organization. There's a few special event days, you can't use it. Please just check the website if you've got any doubts. Um, but please, do make the most of that. Next 12 months, you can bring that many people back with you to the Tank Museum. And if you are on holiday, I do hope the uh, weather cheers up a little bit uh, for the rest of the week. Thank you very much.